Okay. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to this live training today. I'm just waiting for our guests to come in and then we'll get started. So while we are waiting, if you have questions, um, put your questions in the chat box so that I could just pick it up from there. And you know, read it out to our guests. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Um, this is a very special interview with Gina Gabrielini. And, you know, she is going to be sharing a lot with us. I want it to be informal and very informative. Even though it's informal, I want it to be informative so that we get a lot out of the interview today. So stay with me while I wait. Let me find out what's happening. I know she's joining us. Um, I tried to call, um, calculate the time zone and I hope I got it all right. So let's see. Okay, so Gina is on another live interview at the moment and she's wrapping up to join us so while we wait let's build up the audience i'm just going to be building up the audience and saying we're live now we're live so share tell your friends to join us while we wait for gina she's just so super busy this period and i'm so grateful that she said yes to us I'm excited and I hope you're excited. I'm really excited to be having this interview with her today. I hope that you too are excited. So if you have questions, you know, just put it in the chat box and I'll be able to pick it up and ask her. I made myself a big hot cup of tea. Is one of those ones they call re revitalize because I think it's time to re revitalize ourselves in 2018. Yeah. So it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good evening. It's going to be a good evening. So just waiting, waiting, waiting. I don't know. I have this good feeling about 2018. I don't know about you. I just have a very good feeling about 2018. A lot of things are showing up. Oh, Gina is here. Hey. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So happy to be here. Isn't it fun to see people face to face and get to interact? Yeah. I'm so excited, honestly. I'm just over the moon. Just too excited, too happy. Thank you so much for saying yes. I know you are super busy this period. And so, you know, when you said yes to me, I just like, wow, she said yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a party, so I had to show up. It's a client getting party. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So I'm just going to introduce you. Uh, I can already see um, someone is already there waiting. But I know people have said they're going to be at the call, at the live call. So I'm just going to get to it. And I think we're live. It says live, so we're live. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> it says live. So, Gina, how many minutes do you have for us? How many minutes are you giving us? Yeah, we'll go like have a half hour or whatever you want to do. We'll, we'll tell okay. me like we're done talking and the inspiration is completed and then I'll go eat my lunch after. Okay, good, good. Very good, very good. So I'm just going to introduce you. I'm going to do a formal one. Um, I've done a bit of a few Facebook lives talking about how I got to meet you, how I got to find you. I don't know if you know that story, but um, I came across your YouTube video. Actually, I'm not sure now. But I just think that heaven sent you to me because I think I found you on my email list first and I went to YouTube and I saw a video of you and I just fell in love with you. I just loved your personality and I started following you and then you had this offer and I signed up for Profit Quest when you have Profit Quest. 
and um, did aesthetic marketing and I've just been in your community. Gina, I'm, I must tell you, and I should do a proper testimonial for you. Um, I, I follow your speed dial, the universe, and lots of amazing, amazing things have come into my life since, you know, writing and journaling, following your steps and your system. And that's why, you know, I feel that my community, you need to hear about you and get to know more about you because you are different in a very good way, in the way that women need to be in this generation. So I'm so excited that you're here. And um, then now I will do my formal introduction. Okay, <laughs> So this is the formal introduction. Meanwhile, before we get started, can everybody hear us well and see us well? If you just put it in the chat box and say, yes, I can see you. Yes, I can hear you. So we know that we are not just speaking to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ducks. Okay, I can see some thumbs up. So I guess that they're okay. So this is the formal introduction. Gina is a master business coach and client attraction genius who's helped thousands of entrepreneurs double and triple their sales by attracting all the clients they want. And this is absolutely true. This is, I know it's a formal intro, but it's a truth, truth, truth. You know, and they double and triple their sales by attracting all the clients they want without doing more, without working more or marketing more. You know, so she's amazing. Her trainings are always packed with revolutionary strategies you can implement right away. And I speak from experience to put your client attraction into the fifth gear and turning your business into a high profit fun. Mark the word fun fist. Fun, fun. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's my intro for Gina. Gina, welcome, welcome to the Unleashed Women's Network. Um, there are about 2,000 women, slightly over 2,000 women in this group. And a lot of them are women leaders who also have their own community and doing amazing, amazing work. So it's a very good atmosphere to be in. I decided to make this call private within the group rather than public on my profile because I think that way, I don't know, I just feel it's better that way than putting up both, you know, public out there. So, Gina. I would like you to tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get started on this journey? When did you get started? Tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, so I was an accidental entrepreneur. I just kind of fell into it because my mom had started a business with my brother and I said, hey, I want in. What are you guys doing over there? But I didn't know anything about business and I definitely didn't make a lot of money, kind of struggled. I worked, um, I also worked at a seminar company where I was coaching people. And then I learned about coaching as an industry. I had no idea it existed. And um, I decided immediately I want to do this forever. I love it. And like many entrepreneurs, when they first start, I thought the entire world should be my client. <laughs> right? like, all of you need what I have. It's so amazing. And so I I was definitely, I was not, I didn't have a niche. I just said, hey, if you want something better in your life, I'm your girl. And then eventually I realized, wow, it's really hard to get clients when you solve all the world's problems and you're talking to everybody. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> yeah, my, it kind of it dilutes the message. So at some point I was working with a coach who said, man, you have to stop talking to the whole world. And I'm like, but that's so scary. Then it was like, oh, I'll get less clients if I really just talk to my ideal clients. And then I learned that it's it's got to go deeper than ideal clients. It's really about getting five-star clients because five-star clients are the ones who are wired to want what you have. And five-star clients are better than just three-star clients, right? Three-star clients are like, they're okay. And, you, you know, they give you money and it's all right. But it's not exciting and i like yeah. to think of like five star clients are the ones that not only are perfect for you but you're perfect for them and everybody's in a place of joy it's like you want to over deliver to them because you're yeah. so, like you're so in love with them and they they become the best clients because they buy from you over and over and over again so i would say it's not about charging a lot of money that's not what a five star client is although you can 
it's really about who is that person, not just from a um, facts, factual standpoint, like my most ideal client is a woman who is 40 and she's got two kids. And it's like, not, it's deeper than that. It's like, what's the energy? What's the essence of that most ideal person that I want to work with? How do I want to feel when I'm serving them? Yeah. Could I talk to them all day long about this particular thing that I offer? Cause it feels that good. What's the experience like for me? Cause I could have a bunch of clients and be totally miserable if they're not five star. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's what I do. And that's how I got here. And it was a long kind of windy road. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm sure they want to know how, how do you know if someone is a five star client and, where do you even begin attracting them? So first, we don't want to cross our fingers and hope that a five-star client finds us. We have to actually decide what that five-star client looks like, feels like, and what they most want. So um, for me, it's time to get, I think of it as like getting really selfish. Like, okay, if I were going to like put my wish list down and I could have anything I wanted in a client, what would that look like? Not who do I think will buy, but who do I actually want to serve? And from there, the next step is to make sure that you dig down deep into your heart. You could do it by interviewing people, but I always say sometimes you're brand new in your business. You don't have clients to go interview, but really digging into your heart going like, when I feel into it, what do I feel my five-star clients are most looking for? What are the products, the services, the programs that will speak right to their soul and solve their most top of mind problems. And let's make sure that whatever I design to, to offer people will match what they want. Again, we're not making a, uh, a product or a service that would serve the entire world, just our five-star clients. Like, so you said you use my speed dial, the universe journal. I mean, it's a pretty, it's practical, but it's also kind of woo woo spiritual. So it's not going to be for like, necessarily all the people in the corporate world. It's not, you know, it's like, it's yeah. for people who want to get really clear on what they want to create and not just with their day and the tasks they want to do, but what do they want to create on a bigger level and how to attract that immediately. It's not for everybody. If yeah. it was, I would have censored it. I would have made it real practical. Right. And then I would have not attracted that many people because I wouldn't have been excited about it. And it wasn't designed for my five-star client. Yeah. It does work. Honestly, it does work. I mean, it looks simple, but it does work if you follow it, you know, and it's amazing how just following that journal makes you attract the things that you want, you know, and yeah. And I know it's not for everyone, but if you're listening and you haven't heard about Speed Dial the Universe, go to Gina's website. You'll find it there. And there's an app. Although Gina, a friend of mine tried to download the app and it said it wasn't available. I don't know why, but I still had it on my phone, but she couldn't download it. So she found you somehow. She did a Google search and found you. I said, I found Gina and I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. So um, questions. Are there any questions here? I just want it to be conversational. So um, Kim says, Kim is here. So Kim says, yes, we can hear you. That's good. Um, Gail says, yes, I can see and hear you both. Okay, good, good. So, um, Gail, do you have any questions for Gina? This is the time to, uh, this woman is a very busy woman and she's giving us half hour of her time. So this is the time for us to um, ask questions. But Gina, I'll let you just roll and do your thing and just share with us whatever it is you want to share with us. Why should these women listen to you? <laughs> I, I've, been going, I've been going on and on about you. They probably think maybe you paid me some money to say all these nice things about you, you know, but I know it's not true. And I know that, you know, if I truly love somebody, I can't hide it. I just share because I want the whole world to know about that person. That's just how I am. So, but it's now that they can feel you in the flesh and see that you're a real person. You're not just somebody Placida has made up. You know, so I'm just going to let you do your thing. And um, and then if there are questions, I'll be looking at the chat box. If there are questions, I would, I would chip in. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're a five-star client. That's why you want to refer me. Um, you know, that's what five-star clients do. They talk about you because they're excited, because they want to, because they, they love the experience. So the first thing I want to say is you want to check in to see if you're not attracting all the clients you want or not the quality 
of clients you want, there's a few things you can do immediately. And one is to stop and identify, am I actually expecting five-star clients? And do I know what my five-star client looks like or feels like? Even if you're just making it up in your head and you've never had one in front of you before. I say that because so often it's really easy to tell if we're focused on one or two star clients, because they tell you that your stuff is too expensive. Um, they don't show up in a timely manner. Um, they take a lot of energy. Um, they're kind of a pain in the butt. You, you're not in love with them. It just, it feels like work, right? Even if they want to buy a product, they're asking you a million questions and they're sending you emails. And if you're feeling like it's hard, you're most likely you're focused. Um, even if you're not intentionally focused on it, one or two star clients. I feel like it's a little bit harder to identify because we can get kind of comfortable if you're attracting three and four star clients and that's what you're used to because, well, it's fine, right? It's not problematic. It's okay. But there's a big difference between a three and four star client and a five star client. Five star client feels like you are so excited. You are so in the flow. Like I said, you want to serve them. And it's so much easier to get five-star clients. It takes way more work to get a four-star client and less. It really does because we're trying hard. We have to do more to convince them. We're not speaking their right language, so they're, what we're saying is not landing. they kind of interested, and they're saying, yeah, 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 but they don't buy. So it, I, no matter what you do, you definitely want to decide, make a decision right now that five-star clients are going to be the only ones that you focus on. And then the second thing is to make sure that whatever you're offering matches what those five-star clients want. And the third thing to do is to make sure that your pricing, whatever you're pricing, whatever value that you're giving to people, that you can completely be behind that, knowing 100% that whatever you're offering is worth every cent and so much more. Because if we have any funkiness about the price, it's going to impact people saying yes to you. And almost always if people are saying like, wow, that sounds interesting, but they either don't say yes or they complain about the price. That's usually because you yourself have, you've got issues with the pricing. It's either a disconnect about, you don't think people will pay that much. You might think that your offer, whatever you're offering isn't valuable enough, or you got some kind of something's off with your mindset around money. So those would be the big areas. If you're not attracting the right type of clients, as much as you want. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does make sense. A lot of sense. So a lot has to do with your mind, isn't it? Fixing your mind. Absolutely. Yeah. We could be doing, like I was just talking to someone the other day. Oh, we were in a group of uh, friends, of peers in the industry. And someone was saying, yeah, I hired that same person that you use, Gina, for Facebook ads. And I got nothing. And I spent all this money. And I said, man, it is working so good for me. And so, what ends up happening is, is we think it's about the strategy, right? But the reason why the Facebook ads work for me is because for me, I'm ex one, I'm excited about that way of marketing. I think it's fun. And two, I know I, in my mind, I know my five-star clients are going to be attracted to whatever we offer in that Facebook ad. Everything is lined up. And so often we think it's about the marketing strategy, or if I just do more, but the things I'm already doing, maybe I'll get more clients. Like I used to think that I thought in those days, I like to do webinars, right? Like, so this kind of thing right here is super fun, right? We get to educate people and talk to people. In the old days, it was doing seminar instant uh, se seminars on conference lines. You didn't get to see people. I thought, well, it's kind of working, but if I just do more, maybe it'll work better. Maybe I'll get more clients if I do like 10 of these instead of four. It's going to make I would still get the you know the same amount of clients. I would get 10 clients because I hadn't yet known about how to attract clients using this five-star formula. So I would just try and really hard, not believing that people would actually sign up. I wasn't. I wasn't believing it. I was, I was uh, I hope it happens. So mindset has everything to do with who you're attracting, how you're attracting them, and how many people say yes, because Every strategy you use is based on your mindset. Like if I thought, like for instance, if I would have started using Facebook ads earlier, I was used to be scared 
to actually get, um, I was scared to use Facebook. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like gambling. You spend a lot of money and you don't know if people are going to buy. Like, I don't want to do this. But if I would have tried it with that attitude, it wouldn't have worked. I waited until yeah. I could be a hundred percent lined up with it. And if you don't believe something will work and you try that strategy, it's not going to. Right. And we, even if we put, have a limitation on how easy it is to get clients, we will work really hard to get clients. That becomes our new normal. So we always want to be looking at mindset. It dictates every decision we make in our business. Now I'm big and I do, t I'm big on strategy. I love strategy, but it's all about picking the most perfect strategy for you that plays to your strengths and the one that you'll believe in. Never try a marketing strategy of any type unless you, you can have fun with it and it plays to your strengths. Like I would never get on video if it scares the you know what off of you and you're going to worry about the right things to say, it's going to be a miserable experience and you're probably not going to get any clients. So don't do it. Just, just scratch that off the to-do list. Don't do it. Yeah. yeah. Completely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I mean, when you say these things, I know that some people's head, they probably be saying, but, how do I get clients even if I'm not going to do more of these things? You know, you're telling me I have to do less and still get the same number. And I can say from experience, yes, actually, if you do less, you get the same number. You know, it's just something we can't explain it. But Gina has, has created a principle and it's her own strategy that if you follow it, you find yourself doing less and getting more. And There's no way to explain it, except that's, that's the only way to explain it. <laughs> I don't know, Gina, if you want to say anything else. <laughs> I think. Well, here's, and here's why that works that way. I know it sounds like, seriously, I'm going to do less and get more. Yeah, because when you're in the right energy, with the right mindset, talking to your five-star clients in language they can really relate to, and you have a five-star product or service on the other side that was designed specifically for them, it's easier to find the right words to communicate what you want to do. The things that used to be hard before, like for instance, copywriting, like I have an email list, right? So I'm sending, I'm writing emails. I'm, I have, a, I have, you know, I'm putting things on Facebook. If I'm writing copy and I'm thinking really hard about the right things to say, and I don't really know who I'm talking to, it's going to take me two hours to craft that thing that I want to say. But when my energy is in the right place and I'm talking to my five star clients and it's not about marketing, it's about, this love, you know, like love based relationship we're creating. I can whip something out that's from the heart and it speaks directly to them and they know it immediately. It takes less time to do the things that you were taking so long before and you get better results and you realize, Oh, it's not about how much I do. It's about doing the right and perfect things that speak to me as well as my five star clients and doing it in a way that turns me on. Then it becomes easy. Yeah. And I mean, I think an example is myself because I don't think it's a marketing that brought me to you, but somehow I found you and um, you didn't have to do more to find me. So I just found you and fell in love, <laughs> basically signed up for two programs and it was effortless on your part because I was just going through the process all by myself. And, you know, so loving your service so much and loving your teaching so much and bringing you into my community, I think that's what you mean by working less and actually getting more than um, if you are doing so much, a lot of marketing. Yeah, and I think sometimes also um, when we, we do marketing with all of our, you know, I want to do marketing and I want to get the clients, we don't really get the clients and clients can sense, sense the way we feel. Like you, I just watched your YouTube video. We are just carefree. It wasn't a formal YouTube video. It was just one of your old ones. And I said, God, I love this woman. I love her simplicity. I just love this woman. You know, so I think um, using myself as an example of this, you know, I'm so glad that you called me a five-star client. So I'm so happy I'm a five-star client. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, using myself as an example is, you know, you just doing your thing and I just stumbled upon, I don't even know how I stumbled upon it, but I found it and here I am today talking with you. So I think that's the experience and that's what Gina is teaching. And I have 
signed up with her program. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't have signed up. And that's why you're here. And Gina is here in the community to teach us, you know, to share with us that it is possible to have whatever you want uh, without doing too many marketing and too many, too many stuff. Yep. It's all about the five-star experience for those five-star clients. And it's a five-star, it's got to be a five-star experience for you, meaning it's pleasurable, right? What When we're talking to five-star clients, they end up saying, great, like, I love what you're talking about. Cool. Tell me what to buy. Like, they ask you instead of you saying, well, now let me tell you. It becomes a different story. They literally show up going like, I already know I'm digging on this, so just tell me what to do. <laughs> Should I buy this or should I buy this? Or should I buy 20 of these? You know, help me, help me. They don't have to be, there's not a long conversation. They might have to think about it. It doesn't mean they always buy on the spot. Some people are need to take that time with their choices or get their money, you know, issues resolved to be able to say yes. However, it should be that they're very engaged. They know they want to work with you. The decision is made and they're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that they can say yes to you. Like, you know, there's not convincing on that. They're, they're already convinced. So it's not like you have to ask for the sale or sell them on it. They get the value immediately. Yeah. I mean, you saying that I remember actually emailing your team to find out what was the next level after um, a static marketing, you know, and I know financially I wasn't ready and I knew I was going to do it and I'm still going to, I haven't done it yet, but I remember I couldn't even believe myself that I did that I actually emailed to say what's the next level after this I want to sign up for the next level <laughs> yeah sorry. it felt good also to be able to um, find somebody that you love to work with and they just keep doing their programs and you know learning from them I think one of the mistakes that we make as coaches is there's so much going on out there and we just want to follow every single person and I got to a point in my life that I just got tired of all the buzz and all the noise around. I just wanted to find somebody I could listen to, somebody who's been there, before, you know, and gone ahead of me and is actually producing results. And so I watched you and I was like, you said you had been in coaching for so many years. And I was like, this is the woman. I want to follow this woman. I want to learn from this woman, you know, so... Um, so if you're listening, honestly, I don't know where you're at at your business, but if you think that this friendly, funky lady here can mentor you, then, you know, um, we have a resource. Gina has a resource you're giving out on the website link. I'm going to put the link in the ch uh, chat box. You can download. It's free. Oh, Gina, one of the things I love about you, and I must tell you now that I'm seeing you face to face, is your resources. You give lots and lots of valuable resources you know and they're made in a way that is so easy to understand and to digest and to take in that was one of the things i like and it just makes life so simple so if you're if you want resources this is the woman she will give you step-by-step -step breakdown and another thing i really loved about you gina was in your programs you share your own personal experiences your own personal templates and honestly, I've been in other programs. People don't put their own personal stuff, but you put your own personal things. So I could see your goals, you know, and the year you made the goal. And I was like, okay, so she made this goal in this year. And she made this goal. When did she achieve? So in my brain, I'm kind of calculating. <laughs> calculating it. But I was really happy that you gave us that. And it was good to see your progress you know, because you gave us that template and it was very good to see your progress. And that was one of, I just loved, I just, I love this woman and the clarity, you know, the uh, authenticity and the plainness of you. So we have a resource. I'm going to put the link so that if you want the download and you should get a download, it's free to download. Just take it and help yourself in your business. Well, this is 2018. You know, I say to the women, it's 2018. Why do you want to keep struggling throughout? This is a new year. Start the new year in fun. Start the new year creating the life you want, creating your business the way you want your business. You know, work less and have more, you know. And who is the best person to teach you is Gina. Gina is the best person to teach you how to attract 
attract more walking less, you know. So um, I'm so glad that you said yes to this interview. I've been, I'm just talking, I'm just talking, so I'm excited. So <laughs> do you know how I'm talking? <laughs> I'm just talking. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you having me here, and I appreciate all of you listening. And I know I can, I understand no matter where you're at in your business, um, if you're not attracting enough clients, how that feels, and not enough money rolling in. And I know how important it is to get in the right mindset. I, I always say I got to make everything easy. That's why all of our free resources are easy. The stuff that we give in our programs are easy because. We've already made it so hard, right? We make business so hard and we think there's 20 million things to do in order to get the client and make this thing work. So it's like the simple, the simpler, the better. So even right now, if you're the type of person who thinks there's 20 things you need to do every day in order to be successful in your business or be effective, I would say narrow that down to like three, maybe five things a day at the most and making sure that they're the things that you want to do and you'll get better results immediately and it will feel like a relief, right? All the heaviness will be gone if we don't lighten up. It's gonna be a long, hard road to getting all the clients we want. And I, it's just, it doesn't need to be that way. So I would say make a decision right now that you're gonna start making things and allowing things to be a lot more simpler. And then you'll enjoy the gift and the resources that we're sharing with you now and go use them. Like, don't just use it once. Use them over and over and over to make your life a whole lot easier. So thank you for having me here with you today and sharing me with your people. I'm so, and thank you very much, Gina. Really thank you. And talking about listening to it over and over again. And, you know, sometimes when people talk, people think they make them up. The truth is that I have Gina on my mobile phone. Like, I have Gina on my mobile phone. And she's here, like, listening. And this is not just to make her like me more. But, you know, this is the truth. Um, I'm always listening. If I'm planning anything, I try to go back to the audios and I listen. Because you have to keep listening. Sometimes you think you've heard everything, but you haven't heard everything. And then when you listen again, you're like, oh, I didn't hear that the first time. How come? I didn't hear that. Some of the audios I've listened to like five times. I keep going back and listening and just sinking in until it becomes part of you, you know. And, and when I'm creating something, I try to, I hear Gina say, simple, fun, you know. Is it simple? Is it fun? Are you enjoying it? It's like you're in my head talking every time I try to create something. That's because I'm always listening to the audios to make sure that it's sinking in and it, I become it. I become what I'm hearing. So... Um, resources are very good, and um, those who are meeting me for the first time, you might think, oh, oh making this woman sound so fantastic. She is fantastic. I'm not making her. <laughs> she is fantastic. So I'll put the link there. It's HTTP. Oh, I think I got it wrong. But it's five star clients dot win because this year is the year we're going to win. So the end of it is not dot com. It's not .co.uk, it's .win, because we've got to win this year. <laughs> we've got, exactly, we've got to win this year. So, Gina, thank you so much. I think we've done about half an hour, have we? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Right on time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, what's your final words before you, you dash off? I know you have so much you're doing. Relax into wherever you are. If you're not getting the amount of clients or the quality of clients that you want, relax, stop working hard at it and take some time, you know, as I say, sometimes you have to slow down to go fast and really think is, am I really focused on my five-star client? How can I have more fun doing this? How can I have it be easier? And start asking empowering questions so that you can start taking, making better decisions that will lead you to those five-star clients. So that's my, that's my last parting words. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gina. Thank you. Okay. And thank you, everyone, ladies. Thank you for listening to this live um, conversation. Because this conversation, you know, getting to know Gina and what she does and how she's transformed my life. I know I've been talking too much, but that's what I do when I'm so excited. <laughs> I just talk and talk and talk. So forgive me if I've been talking too much. Um, everything I've said is the truth. It's just how I feel. I just can't hide it. Um, thank you very, very much, everybody. And, you know, download the resources, connect with Gina, go to YouTube and listen to her audios if you want to see the ones I found, you know, but just stay with her. She is a lovely, lovely person. Thank you very much, Gina. Thank you.
Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>